Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the introduction of Python and we'll be going through few characteristics of Python guys. So Python is an object-oriented programming language and it is also a scripting language guys, which was initially designed by Juan Rosen in early 1990s. This is one of the most latest language guys. So it was designed okay so this language is almost similar to Perl guys so by software Python software foundation was the, was the developer company developed this software so the main applications of this is system applications and G C G I that is nothing but computer gateway interface programming so now I hope everyone got a small idea on Python guys basically the games which we play in PC few of them are made with Python guys and most of the applications can also be designed using Python. Okay, so let us go through the few characteristics of Python. Okay, so it is a open source language in SM, inaccessible by common computing platforms. So Python script are brief but readable and high expensive. Reading and the programming in Python is really easy guys when we compare with other languages because Python has very rich libraries and there are many predefined programs. We can say them directly those are programs guys because if you want to sort an element in C or C++ what will you be doing? You will be writing the code for bubble sort or any kind of sort but whereas in Python you will be having a small code you will be inserting it and they, they will be automatically be sorted like sort dot parenthesis the file the array name. So Python is a complete which is a compact language that depends on the rich and set library modules for performing high level operations like string machine services even for string manipulations also we will be using those functions only so Python consists of three kinds of data structures those are nothing but list pupils and dictionaries so these things are really interesting topics as in Python but they, those are not included in the syllabus so I am not going to teach any of those guys okay so python supports a cgi which we have discussed in the application cgi programming and performs and form processing through cgi modules itself so i have just wrote some small syntaxes guys so that you'll be having a clear idea so to print a statement you'll be writing print parenthesis inside message semicolon is not compulsory in python guys if you are interested you can just place it there will be no error or no problem detected due to that fine so variables are which storing the data data types are like string character int real complex list tuples dictionaries are some of the data types so these are really easy and if you want to convert the whole string into smaller case or upper case you will be using these commands guys fine so list is nothing but even that is nothing but two four six eight so this is the position for zero one two three four list is nothing but just similar to an array guys that's it so we can represent this in terms like this n plus 2 for n is even fine so exceptional handling is available in python and we will be used saving the files with dot python guys so if you want to learn more about this we will be using the compiler called pycharm for compiling the programs there are many websites which will be teaching python for free guys you can just go to google and you can just search because Python is a really interesting language. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on Python. So by this we have just completed our fifth chapter. So now we are left out only with third chapter guys. So in the next set of tutorials we will be going to start it and we will be finishing it guys. Don't worry. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.